Okay, so today we're talking about electricity and very much the piece that is the supply needing to meet the demand. So this is very much a case where this has to happen. I can't have electricity storage in the wires. They would heat up, they would melt. Uh, that management is quite interesting. Uh, and so you have to have the electricity uh, as needed. Now, the piece that's obviously missing is storage. And if we get that right, then we're on to uh, a game-changing uh, scenario. Uh, but right now, we have pump storage primarily is how we do this. So let me remind you of a couple of things. So I'm going to show you three cases of what the electricity demand looks like in the week. And so we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And so this is some sort of measure of demand. And what typically happens is at night, we're using a little bit of electricity, but we're using some. We have these sort of weekly peaks. It might peak around 4, 6 p.m., depending where you are. And then the weekend typically has a lower demand cycle, so along these lines. I've drawn that to be relatively uh, uniform. Um, but if we just take a look, this is the lowest amount of electricity used in the week, and that would be the base load. And of course, maybe uh, we'd have a, a day that might have a high usage than others, um, et cetera, et cetera. But let's say that this is, uh, let's say this is April in Pennsylvania. We don't use a great deal of electricity. We are not heating. We are not cooling a great deal in Pennsylvania. Um, we're still using lighting. We're still using hot water. We're still washing clothes, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, industry is still running. This is probably why we see a reduction in commercial and industry over the weekend. Um, but if we look at some other cases, Let's go look at a case now where it is the demand for uh, the winter season. And here we still see the same sort of ups and downs. Maybe there's a warmer day, colder day. And you can see that our base load is considerably higher. And we said this was winter, so let's say it's January. Um, we're heating, and some of us, about half of us, will use uh, natural gas for heat, so that wouldn't come into here because this is electricity supply. But then uh, the rest of us are using electricity and oil and other pieces. If, again, we do this for the summer, and so let's say uh, July, which is hot and humid and a bit rotten in State College. Um, again, we're going to see very large peaking. Maybe there's a hot day, maybe there's a cooler day. And we have a base load that is also much higher than the base load that we had over here. So what we've seen is there is considerable variability between the seasons. So we have a, a lower electricity use in April in Pennsylvania. Uh, we see a very significant, you know, almost a doubling, perhaps more than a doubling, between the base load um, and the highest uh, generated need of electricity, highest electricity demand. Uh, obviously, winter and the summer uh, is where it might peak. And in this particular case, we can see that the peak was actually in the summer, which is the case for Pennsylvania. And so we have choices in how we get there. We've obviously seen that we can generate electricity with the fossil fuels. Uh, we can generate it with nuclear and with renewables. But we need the policies to be in place so that we can uh, achieve the right balance uh, and have a stable, reliable, resilient grid where electricity prices are cheap. And so that's the next segment.